Hello and welcome back to Little Coffee Fox. Today I wanted to do a quick review of the Pentel Aquash water brush pens. So I have used these brushes for well over a year now, probably closer to two years, and I wanna say right off the bat, I think these are amazing. And I just kinda of wanna break down all the things that make it amazing in my book. I wanna just kinda of walk through its features and show you what these pens can do. So when you first get these, they are just three sizes of brush pens in a pack. So there's the small, the medium, and the large, which you can see that the caps are slightly different colors, uh, so you can tell them apart without having to uncap them and look at the brushes. On the back, it just comes with some directions on how to use them and it's just a standard old blister pack so let's go ahead and crack it open and see what's up here you have it the small medium and large pentel aquash water brush pens i'm grabbing the small aquash water brush pen right now and as you can see it's just a empty body an empty barrel which you fill with water and it comes up through this nozzle and into the brush. It's just these nylon white fibers for the brush and it is an actual like brush. It's not any sort of a, a nib. It's it's actual brush bristles and that's pretty much it. And then there's a cap that fits really nicely here and also fits very nicely on the butt so you don't lose your cap. So here's the size difference between the small, medium, and large. So they give you a nice variety. You definitely can achieve quite a lot with this range of sizes. Let me show you how they work in action. So the way you fill these up is you unscrew the cap and then the brush head comes right off. And of course you can fill this up under a faucet. Um, since I'm filming, I don't have a faucet. I have an eyedropper and a glass of clean water. There's a line on the barrel that will tell you where to stop so you don't overfill it. So you can see that the barrel is full of water now. There's a line right there. And then you just screw the lid, I'm sorry, the, the brush back on the top. And there you have it. You have yourself a brush pen with water, a portable, water coloring brush or any other kind of brush I suppose. In order to get the water to go to the brush you just give it a squeeze and then you have yourself water in a brush. All three are now filled up with water and we're ready to go. So let me show you how these work with watercolor paints. I have some Canson watercolor paper 140 pounds right here just cut up and taped to my desk and my water brushes and my Sennelier watercolors. So all you need to do is take your water brush and make sure that the tip is wet so you've pressed the water out onto the brush. And then you just go and you pick up some pigment from your palette. And if it's not wet enough, you can just squeeze the barrel and get a couple drops of water in your palette. Just until you like the consistency, get it all on your brush, get your brush loaded, and then just bring it over and paint. You can get it as bold as you like or as translucent as you like. It's totally up to you, just like with any other painting. You can clean it off on a paper towel. Maybe go pick up a different color. And there you go. It's just a paintbrush now. You just wipe it off on a clean paper towel a little bit more water on your bristles so you can really clean it off really good. I will say that the white nylon tip does stain immediately. Um, you'll only enjoy it being white for the very first use. It just absorbs the color into the bristles and that's it. It doesn't, it doesn't muddy up your paintings later on, so don't worry about that. So say you want to do a really big wash, a wet on wet wash with your Pentel Aquash water brush pens. So all you need to do is squeeze the barrel with clean water and make sure the nib is nice and clean. Squeeze the barrel and get a lot of water onto the paper, onto the bristles. Lay down some clean water. Then just go in and pick up your pigment and add it to the wet spots and you've got yourself a wet on wet wash. So say maybe you want to do some brush lettering and you want to use watercolors. Well, let's give that a shot. I'm going to press the barrel, get some water in my palette, 
mix it around. See, now it's loaded up on the brush. Now, I'm not gonna demonstrate this because these are brand new and they're nice and clean on the inside, but something that you can do with the Aquash water brush pens is not have clean water on the inside, but instead fill it with a diluted or non-diluted ink. So you can maybe fill this with black and use this for a black ink brush pen. Also, these are extremely portable. That's really the benefit for me is that I can take these with me anywhere and they don't leak in the bag. They don't, you know, leak water all over your purse or anything. They're just easy to throw in your bag, take with you, and go. All you need besides these are some kind of a traveling palette, and then you're set. You can take your painting anywhere you go. You can take it to a museum or a zoo, or if you're traveling on vacation. So just for comparison, this is the large brush the medium brush and the small brush. So like I said, a very nice variation of widths and sizes so you can achieve a lot of results. So I love these pens. I totally recommend them for any newbie or experienced artist who just wants to have a different type of water brush or a different type of paintbrush and who's interested in something a little bit more convenient. There's links below to all the materials I'm using if you want to check in on those. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know. I want to keep doing these reviews, but I'll only do it if you like them. Comment down below what you want me to review next and I will see you later. Bye!